All right, this is Vegeta 8259, and I've got a little something special today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review of the RX 78-2E Gundam Evolve version. Now, this is not a Bandai kit. It is a resin conversion kit that I got back during the summer. Uh, if you've seen any of the Gundam Evolve uh, uh, computer animation uh, shorts, this is from the 15th installment of the Gundam Evolve series. And it's pretty much just a recreated, modernized version of RX-78. As you can see, it's very recreated and very modernized. Uh, a lot of people say it's based off of Strike Gundam, but, I mean, I can see some similarities, but not many. I just, some people don't like it, because it's just too weird looking, but I think it's really, really cool. I like reinventions of older suits like this. And, traditionally, it's supposed to be painted in the original RX-78 colors with the blue and the yellow and the white and the red. But I changed it up a little bit, uh... I gave him a red torso, and I didn't bother painting the star in a shield yellow, I just made it silver. Gave him black feet, and everything else is pretty much as it's supposed to be. <clears throat> now, the base kit for this is the Master Grade RX-78 One Year War version. And I think I didn't use any of the armor, and I think I used probably three quarters of the frame and all the rest of the stuff you see on the outside is resin. Now, it may seem like kind of a waste to some people, waste of a master grade, but I was able to take the outer parts of the armor from the One Year War kit and use it to modify my other One Year War version into this same red color scheme. So now my One Year War RX-78 has two sets of armor, a normal color scheme and a red color scheme. So let's get into this figure. We've wasted enough time. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll go over his accessories first since they tend to come off pretty easy, easily. See, his shield just kind of... It doesn't connect on. It just kind of clips onto his arm there. So his shield is very different. Uh, again, like any conversion kit, you get uh, all this stuff is just going to be like tan because that's just the color of resin so all of this is painted uh, as you can see he's got his extra little beam sabers there in the back of the shield and it's actually a pretty nice looking shield in my opinion very nice it's got the EFSF logo right there and there so yeah and this guy did come with his own decal set so he's got different decals than RX-78 He's got a very, very nice looking gun, I think. I mean, it's much larger than RX-78's beam rifle and very cool looking. It's got a scope here on the side. It's got, I'm not really sure what this is, but uh, yeah, it's got EFSF written on the side. And yeah, this handle is supposed to swing back and forth like on the original beam rifle, but I just glued it in place because it was really loose and I didn't want it to fall off or break off. So yeah, very nice beam rifle. Uh, he does come with four beam sabers, the two you saw in his uh, shield there and then the two on the back. And you can take the blades from the One Year War uh, Master Grade and use them on these beam sabers, so that works pretty well. Uh, articulation, let's see. He has pretty much the same articulation as the One Year War version. Uh, trying to be a little careful with them. Some of these pieces might tend to fall off. So his arm goes in and out. It's a little bit limited by some of the new pieces that are on here, like he's got a vent here that the One Year War version didn't have. Completely new shoulder armor. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, none of the torso pieces are reused. Uh, he does, he comes with one new hand that's like a, just a balled up fist that's very nicely detailed. Uh, but you have to use the One Year War version's hand, uh, for, to hold the gun, so. Which, I mean, that's not too big of a loss, seeing how's your 
pretty much using the rest of the kit as well. Uh, I really like the segmented look of this kit. How like the uh, chest vents are this one big segment here that's separate from the rest of the chest piece. And you see his uh, little cockpit hatch kind of looks like strike Gundams there. And he's even got these big round things down there in the torso that's very very different looking. And he can bend a little bit down there. Uh, his head is also very different looking. He's got lots of panel lines all over the kit really. See the back of the head there. A very uh, large backpack. And I like this backpack because uh, it's got the four thrusters. And then the backpack actually, uh, the whole, the backpack just kind of wraps around and then connects to the chest vents here. Which if you look at the uh, master grade or perfect grade RX-78 manuals, that's how it actually works. The uh, chest vents are exhaust for the uh, backpack here. And they just kind of, you can see it on the inside of the kit, but on this version, the Evolve, you can actually see it on the outside where the thruster uh, exhaust goes all the way around to the front. He's got, his skirt armor is very small and reveals a lot of the hip armor. Like, look how tiny his side skirts are. And his front skirt's there, back skirts. He's still got the hole there where he can mount... Uh, Actually, I don't think he can mount any of Evolve's weapons. I guess if you wanted to use the Hyper Bazooka or uh, the old uh, beam rifle from the original One Year War kit, you could do that. His knees still bend. His knees, uh, not his knees, his legs actually had quite a lot of new internal parts to accommodate for these uh, new external parts. As you can see, it's got a lot of exposed mechanical stuff on it, like on the sides here. And he's got, of course, new ankle armor, new feet. The back of the feet do not move, but the front of the feet do. They're kind of loose. May have to go in there with some glue and tighten those up a bit. Uh, so, yeah, the thrusters don't move. They're just kind of glued in. He's got these little flaps here. So, uh, I really don't know what much else to go over, other than that he's just a very, very different, uh, reincarnation of RX-78. And, uh, if you know how to work with resin, or have worked with resin before and you like it, I'd really suggest this kit. I wouldn't suggest getting this conversion kit if you're a, uh, I don't want to use the word amateur, that sounds degrading. Uh, if you're just starting out with Gundam kits, uh, yeah, don't start off with the resin right off the bat. I would go with uh, do some snap together kits, just some regular Bandai high grades and master grades, and then uh, work on your painting. Then you can get into resin because every single resin kit you find is going to require lots of painting, as this one did. It took me like a month to get, uh, paint this guy. Well, I don't know if it was quite a month, but it felt like it. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I guess I'll end it here, and I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll let you know.